Good morning, everyone. Here is your weather forecast leading up to the eclipse and through the day of the eclipse. Looks like smooth sailing until we hit the latter half of the weekend. That looks like the time period when the moisture starts to return from the southwest across eastern Idaho. That increases the potential of clouds, also the potential of showers and thunderstorms. And this includes all day on Monday. So we may be looking at trying to just time things out in order to get the perfect view of the eclipse. There's a hiccup in terms of that smooth sailing idea we're talking about. Still a few showers and thunderstorms developing this afternoon across mainly the central mountains from around Sun Valley and Haley up through Gilmore Summit, maybe even towards Island Park. Also in the southern highlands, especially closer to the Utah border. Will we see any storms across the Snake Plain? We did have an outflow boundary with some storms moving through the upper part of the plain last night. We can't say it's zero, but it's not a very big chance at all at this point. Those showers and storms they develop today, just a little bit of rain, not expecting a whole lot of wind. Of course, the lightning potential is there, and with things starting to dry out, you know, can't say that we might not see a few new fires starting across the area. Now, as we go in through the overnight hours, conditions greatly improve, and it was chilly this morning, even at the lower elevations, and that trend will probably continue tomorrow and over the next few days as that dry air is in place. As we go through tomorrow, it's dry. We're under north West flow. Will it be interesting to see? We'll have to monitor the snow, any smoke traveling in from north, the north and west, to see if we do get increasing smoke and uh, haze and visibility issues as we go into tomorrow. But that shouldn't last very long. By the time we get into Saturday afternoon, the main storm is going to develop to our southwest over California, but you can kind of see a weak dip in the pattern. That is a weak area of low pressure extending north from that. That entire pattern as we go into Sunday is going to draw that monsoon moisture in here. So showers and thunderstorms coming in sa Sunday afternoon into the evening hours. The normal tr um, trend is that we see that decrease during the morning and then picking up in the afternoon when things warm up. But we've also seen in monsoon patterns that the potential for morning showers and thunderstorms is there. And we may be looking at that with this pattern. Here we are Monday afternoon. The models want to be dry. I just don't think we're going to go storm free by the time we get into Monday afternoon. The potential again is there for not ideal weather conditions. Those temperatures we've been talking about after this afternoon will be in the low to mid 80s and the lower elevations, mostly in the 70s, 60s once you get into the mid and upper slopes. We talked about those chilly mornings, probably 40s and some low 50s across the Snake Plain. Plenties of thir plenty of 30s in the higher elevations. Don't be surprised if a few of the high valleys dip right around 30 degrees overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. And you'll notice this trend pretty much continues all the way through the weekend. Sunday or Saturday, excuse me, will probably be the warmest day because we just don't have that cloud cover in place. But the cool overnight lows will continue. So if you're going to be out and about camping or traveling, just be aware you might need to bundle up overnight. As we go into Sunday, just a little bit cooler, but that's again the increase in cloud cover across the area. And temperatures don't fluctuate too much on Monday. So if you're wanting something more specific for an eclipse forecast, it's going to be all about timing, trying to find where there will be breaks in the clouds, breaks in between showers and thunderstorms to view that eclipse. For the latest weather information, it will be at weather.gov slash Pocatello or on social media at NWS Pocatello. That includes Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.